Have you ever tried to get ahead in your life or maybe even in your business? And maybe you failed and you didn't know why. My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design and today in our video, I wanna share with you the one thing most people try to avoid in life or business. But before we jump in, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button so that you can get an update when all of our videos are coming out. Remember, we're doing three or more a week in the areas of relationship, business finance, and personal development. And you can also go ahead and click the coaching application if you want to find, work with a coach, myself, my wife, or one of our team's coaches, one-on-one. Um, -on -one. Really, you just want to have a breakthrough. You just can't seem to kind of break through. So go ahead and fill out those applications or hit that subscribe button and go from there. So, our all right, let's jump in. So as you're walking through life or building out your business, what most people try to avoid is pain, right? Everyone wants to avoid pain, why? Because it doesn't feel good. At least that's what they believe. They believe that pain equals not good, right? So they think everything should be great and they think, oh, business is gonna be the straight line, going in success, you know, putting money away or raising a family or anything. It's just gonna be this beautiful straight line, marriage even, right? Like, and that's the illusion that we carry. We are wired to avoid pain and focus on getting more pleasure. So we all want to avoid pain naturally, however, Pain is actually your friend. I know that's a little contradictory to what you may be told or whatnot, but if you're gonna have success in your life or your business, you gotta embrace pain. Most people look at pain as a bad thing. I look at pain as a good thing. Why? Because pain is an initial motivator. It gets you moving. I can't tell you how many times, and you've probably found this in your area of life, uh, or a certain area of life for you, but you go up and you do something great, like maybe you release a lot of weight, and then all of a sudden, you feel great, there's no more pain, and then all of a sudden, you're like, like, oh, I can eat cookies or, you know, cake and then, right, you crash and then you're like, oh, I'm fat again and I don't really like using the F word, but you're fat again and so you got it, you're in pain and so what do you do? You get back on it and then when you're in out of pain, guess what? You lower your standards. Pain is good. Most people want to avoid it. I want to embrace it and it's not like I pray for pain, right? Like that's not the goal, but I got to know that pain is going to help accelerate me into new things. It's going to pain from a relationship. I got cheated on that pain fueled me to study relationships. What made them successful and how could my next relationship be so successful? Oh wait, I got married to a gorgeous woman that had two amazing kids and we live an incredible life. Although we did get into a speed bump last night. So we have our speed bumps, our moments too. So we're, we're, we're no different than you. Our, you know, the pain of not being able to see my abs, knowing that, you know what, hey, there's moments in my life where I couldn't see my abs. And to me, if I need to see my abs to feel like I'm fit, right? And whether that's a good belief system or not, that's, a, that's to individual. But for me, that pain of not seeing my abs was like, get your butt to the gym, go work out, go eat healthy. And as a result, my body feels better, I have more energy, vitality, and yes, I look good too. So that might be it. Pain in business or in finances. When you have pain, oh crap, look at my account. I don't have a lot of money in there. All of a sudden you got this pain and you're like, I gotta go do something. I gotta go make money. I gotta go add value. I gotta increase my sales. That is a helpful tool. See, pain where emotions communicate a certain message to us, pain communicates to us. And the other part of pain that's so brilliant, right? I believe God just made pain for, you know, he's like, he didn't want to punish us. He wanted to help us, right? And so pain's great because, well, it's like 50 Cent said, joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain. So if you always had success, everything was great, you always felt good, you would get you get used to it. It would become common, familiar, and you'd start to get bored eventually. So pain can be a great motivator. Now, do we want to live in pain? No way, right? Like the goal isn't to live in pain, but the goal is to use pain. So my question to you is, how can you use pain for your good, for your success, for you to go to that next level in your life or business? We wanna be able to embrace pain, not avoid pain. But the goal isn't either to experience pain, because what we wanna do is, as we start to move away from pain, right, because we had that pain and it's like, hey, I look good, I feel good, well, we wanna make the gap even bigger, right? Like, well, okay, great, I have my six pack, but can I run a marathon? 
No? Okay, there's pain when I try to run a marathon. Let me get out there and start running longer distance, right? Or, hey, you don't have any money, you go make sales, you, you're out of pain, you feel a lot better, but then you're like, hey, I want to be able to have a, you know, a $30,000 monthly passive income. Well, you don't have that, so there's pain. You got to go do more work to get there, right? So pain is our friend. It's something we want to embrace. We don't want to live with it, but we want to embrace it, right? Like, we all have those friends in life where, you know, what you love them but you couldn't live with them right and I know I've had them and uh, maybe people thought about that about me you know like they love me but they don't want to live with me <laughs> hopefully that's not my wife no that's not the case but anyway most people want to avoid pain instead of embracing it all right so here's the deal I remember when I was in network marketing I was in it for about five a little over five years and I was having decent success but I wasn't making you know, tens of thousands of dollars dollars a month or anything like that right like that just, that was never my path. However, I kept remembering, I remember I was, I was, you know, making the phone calls, getting the no's, meeting people, people telling me no, telling me that this, it's a scam, I'm wasting my time. And you could imagine, you know, how defeated I would, I would be hearing no, no, no. And then I was helping people on my team and they weren't getting the success they want and then they quit and I'm like, what am I doing here? But I had these goals like on my vision board right here. Like I wanted the private jet. I wanted to be able to help family and friends. I wanted to take these trips or have a, a safe car, right? I wanted to be able to provide for my wife and kids when I had them. And you could imagine the pain that I felt, the frustration, the disappointment. And I remember I, I had this thought that I I should I need to start fresh. I need to find something that I love and was passionate for me. And I needed to just go do that. But I remember if I made that decision, that would be saying goodbye to my mentors, goodbye to the people who counted on me, goodbye to the people who I probably would have met in network marketing that maybe would have counted on me. So why I felt excited about taking the next step in my life, I also remembered the people I'd have to move on from and I loved them. So I felt this internal conflict, but I knew the pain of staying where I was and doing what I was doing wasn't working for me. I needed to do something new. And so I used that pain to fuel me to have success on my next, next path, which was coaching and mentoring and teaching, right? And that's what led me to where I am today and talking to you on this video. And so I had to embrace that pain and remember that even though I'm saying goodbye, there's people that are gonna be counting on me in the future and if I'm gonna be successful, I gotta make sure this coaching thing works. And you know, we've had $40,000 months. We've been there and like we've had great success personal. We've had those people who said, you, you know, you changed my life and thank God, I don't know where I would be without you. And so that, that joy that comes with it would have never happened if I would have avoided the pain. And so sometimes we need to embrace that pain. We need to, we need to make friends with it. We don't want to live with it but we wanna embrace it. So if you're gonna be able to go to that next level in life or business, you can't avoid pain. You gotta make friends with it. You gotta embrace it. And when you do, I'm telling you, your life will go in an entirely different direction. I'm not saying it's always gonna feel comfortable. It's definitely gonna be uncomfortable, but that's the raw truth. People won't tell you that, you know, from stages or in videos or in network marketing, like I'm here to tell you the raw truth. And that is the truth, my friends. So with that, hopefully you can start to look at pain in a different lens now where you're starting to look at it as something that's going to help you move to the next level and not something that's going to stop you from the next level. So think about an area of your life. Where in your life are you looking at pain in a bad way and how can you start looking at it as a way of helping you move forward? It's communicating, I want you to move forward. What do you need to do to do that, to get to that next level? So use friend pain as your friend. So with that, I'm gonna cut this video. I hope you found that it was valuable today. I, what I'm gonna ask for you guys to do is go ahead and hit that smash button or smash the like button. You could smash, you could like the smash button, but I don't see, think there's a smash button on YouTube, but go ahead and smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We got more videos coming to you in the areas of personal development, relationship, business, and finance, three days a week or more. I'm really excited for what's to come because I got some good things cooking up. We just hired a nanny. She starts next week. I'm gonna have more time to focus on the channel, on how to 
providing value. So if there's something that you want us to make videos on or some a course maybe that you think would be valuable for you, go ahead and put it in the comments below, but make sure you subscribe so you can get these updates. So with that being said, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Go ahead and fill out that coaching application down below. If you need your breakthrough, you want someone to support you, lock arms with you to hit your goal. Other than that, go out there, make today count, and enjoy the rest of your week. See you guys. Thank you.